Now this morning, President Biden getting ready to deliver his second State of the Union address before Congress and the American people. It comes as a new CBS News poll indicates many Americans have a negative view of where things stand. CBS News' Nicole D'Antonio joins us from Washington with this preview. Chris Mary, as President Biden prepares to address the nation tonight, we wanted to break down some of the top issues we expect to hear. President Biden says he wants tonight's State of the Union address to be a conversation with the American people. I want to talk to the American people and let them know the state of affairs, what's going on, why, what I'm looking forward to working on from this point on, what we've done. The White House says the president will tout progress on the economy as federal data shows easing inflation and a strong labor market with the lowest unemployment rate in more than 50 years. But many Americans are still feeling the pinch. A new CBS News poll shows 61 percent believe the economy is in bad condition. We have more work to do to bring prices down, uh, lower costs and create some breathing room, as he says, for American families. The president is also planning to push for compromise with Republicans on economic policies, but the White House says he does not want to negotiate on raising the nation's debt limit, calling it Congress's constitutional obligation. Republican House Speaker Kevin McCarthy says he wants a deal that includes spending cuts. A responsible debt limit increase that begins to eliminate wasteful Washington spending and puts us on a path towards a balanced budget is not only the right place to start, it's the only place to start. A Trump 2024 campaign source confirms the former president will release a video response right after President Biden's State of the Union address concludes. Arkansas Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders, who was previously Trump's press secretary, will deliver the official Republican response. Now, there's a lot of preparation ahead of tonight. Just like last year, security remains high around the Capitol. In fact, on my way in this morning, I noticed that security fencing is now back up. Again, the State of the Union address begins at 9 o'clock tonight. In Washington, Nicole D'Antonio, CBS 2 News. Thank you.